I ranked number one with AI SEO to prove that it is not luck. As you can see right here, we've got this brand new website started from scratch and it is growing very nicely indeed. Now it's back at zero clicks a day when we first started this brand new domain. So this was a new domain, not an expired one. And you can see it previously was at zero clicks a day. And now that has rocketed up to 229 clicks. And that is growing post Google core update. Obviously sublime content on this AI SEO website, as you can see right here, and it's absolutely flying. Now, again, I wanted to prove this was not luck. So what I actually did again was set up another site and you can see this is popping off as well. This is using exactly the same framework, which I'll get into later and I'll show you some live demos in a minute. But you can see again, this is at like zero clicks a day and now it's boomed up to 183 clicks a day. Here's what's interesting about this one, right? So Google Core Update, if you weren't aware of it, got released on August the 15th. And on August the 15th, that's when the traffic for this website took a huge exponential increase in traffic, as you can see right here. And then again, I wanted to prove this is not luck. I mean, you do it once, fool me once. You do it twice, fool me twice, right? But let's do it three times. And you can see this is popping off to the moon. We got zero clicks a day, one click a day, etc all the way up to 85 clicks a day. If I really wanted to be clickbait on this video, I could have just told you that I 229 x this website, but I'm not clickbait, I'm not that sort of guy. And so what I'm gonna do now is just break down exactly how this works. Now you can see the URL here, I'm being open and transparent. Bear in mind, I'm taking a big risk showing you this stuff because normally case studies like this, when they're very public like this, get clapped for being amazing example of. As you can see right here, this happened exactly with Vogel Thunderland. Got to exactly the same point, zero to 267 clicks a day. Manual penalty for showing it publicly, boom. So let me break down the process step by step and exactly how this works. So if we look at adeptinslides.com, which is this website right here, basically what we're doing is we're just targeting like easy FAQ related, question related keywords, right? So people ask questions on Google, we create the content with AI answering the question. So for example, how to maintain brand consistency using Google Slides. And then it explains how to do that step by step. It's got a nice little inside the content as well. You can see it's monetized with ads. So actually making money with this, this isn't just like a website that's generating traffic for no reason. We're actually making money with this process. And additionally, we've got a email subscribe button inside the content so that we can remarket products to the site, to people who opt in, right? Because a lot of people, they won't be ready to buy right now, but they might be ready to buy later. And so if we collect the email address, we can squeeze the traffic that we get for more money and monetize it better. Again, with the ads, you can see this right here. So let me give you the super actionable stuff and break it down. And this has worked not just once, not just twice, but thrice in the process. So what you can see here is we're using the Goldie SEO framework. Now, some people watching this will already be familiar with it. So I'm gonna show some new stuff in a minute. But basically what you're doing is you're finding the right niche and you want to pick low competition keywords and find about a hundred question based keywords at a keyword difficulty 10 or less. You might say, how do you do that? So let me show you how to do it exactly step by step. So let's say we're in the SEO training niche. We'll go to questions. And if this is a good niche, then we would have a hundred question based keywords right here the KD 10 or less. Now this is super competitive SEO training. And so it's going to be very difficult to rank for that keyword if you start on a new site from scratch, but that's basically the process. Just find a hundred low keyword difficulty keywords related to the topic. If you can find them, great. You've got a good niche. You can create the content. If you can't find them, don't create the content. Don't create the website unless you want a bit of a challenge, which I do like a challenge to be fair. And then you start a new website. And once you found the keywords, Coming back to this example, so if we put in a keyword like, for example, classic, we'll put KD 10 and below. If we find, for example, 5,000 low competition keywords for that particular topic, a lot of them are going to be overlapping. So we're just going to cluster them. How do we cluster them? We use ChatGPT and this prompt right here, which is inside the video notes you'll get in a minute. Now, once you've done that, then you're going to leverage something like autoblogging AI for content creation. This is how we've created sites like this and this to generate more traffic and start brand new websites from scratch that actually rank. Now, 
Autoblogging were kind enough to partner with us on these particular projects, which is great because that means we can work together and show you stuff. They like AI automation. I like AI automation, but I like to manually edit the content before I publish it. But either way, I can show you this stuff publicly thanks to Autoblogging and us working together on this project. And so if you want to generate the content based on your keywords, you would just go to bulk generate over here. You're going to pop in your article titles. Now make sure you, you want to make sure they're capitalized and that sort of thing. Put in the project name, slap in the language, slap in the length, type, tone of voice, writing style, etc. Right. As an example of that, I'm going to do this for my website live for you. Now I am taking a risk. This website will probably get taken down for doing this live. It'll probably get manually penalized by Google for doing stuff like this publicly, but I just want to help you and I want to show you what's going on. And I want to show how this works step by step. So you can see here, we've got a bunch of SEO training related keywords, as you can see. So we can take those keywords and they're all below keyword difficulty 10 or less. Then I'm going to take this prompt that you've got from the video notes and all the prompts and all the workflows from today are included inside. And so we can put that clustering keyword prompt directly inside ChatGPT. We can take all of the keywords, all 103, like so, plug them into ChatGPT. And now we've got the keywords and the titles ready to go. I do like to make sure that everything is in title case so that when, when I plug this into autoblogging and then when autoblogging plugs this into my website, everything is in title case. Now you don't have to do it this way. This is just what's working for me in these experiments that I've run. But I want to show you how this works step by step so you can learn something actionable from the process. So if we take these examples, like we can go into bulk generate like so. And again, I like to manually edit everything for before I publish it. So, so I'm going to plug this into WordPress, which you can do by clicking auto post to WordPress. And then we're just going to grab the WordPress plugin from Autoblogging, as you can see. And now Autoblogging should be linked directly. But if you don't want to do that, then you don't have to auto post to WordPress. You can just get the content manually from Autoblogging and then post it in draft to your website. So we've got the titles in there. We're adding some random, we'll set up the project name, language, etc. It does work in multiple languages, as you can see right here. And now you can see the bulk project is set up and ready to go. Now you can also import via CSV as well. So if you don't want to link Autoblog into WordPress, you can just get a CSV and then import it into WordPress that way too. Now, when it comes to editing the content, you would use something like this. So this is a step-by-step -step checklist where you can edit the content quickly and easily just to run through it and add the finishing touches. Should take about 15 to 20 minutes per article. If you're wondering how to scale it, best way to scale it is to get a virtual assistant to handle this for you and just pay them per article fixed price. And then typically on day one, when we do this, we launch all 50 articles simultaneously. So we'll publish 50 different articles on the website from day one. So that it has got more authority and then we're going to get it indexed, right? So we launch the site from day one, index the content from day one. We have a lot of topical authority because it's covering 50 different articles on the same topic. And then once the content is published, you can also see that it has images inside the content. You can also set up really easy process, quick to do. You're not publishing spam because you're editing the content before you publish it. And then you're good to go. What I'd also say is like, I wouldn't just judge it based on the actual results so far, which are great. As you can see, I mean, zero to nearly 5,000 clicks, zero to two and a half thousand clicks there and zero to nearly 240 clicks right there. That's absolutely great. But also look, if you look at the trajectory, that's the main thing that I'd be looking at. It's like, okay, where's this going to be in six months if it continues to grow like that? Also, if it's update proof, you're living the dream, aren't you? Also, if it's performing better after the Google update, the Google core update typically is in a positive ranking state, as Corey Tugberg would say, which means that it should continue to grow over time. So thanks so much for watching. That is basically the process. Find 50 low competition keywords, create the content in draft, edit it, publish it. And I've proved that works one, two, three times with AI SEO. And honestly, I would say AI content is better than human writers, reads better, saves you a lot of time. And it's only going to become more and more important over the next couple of years when it comes to SEO. Again, some people here be like, oh, I don't want to use AI for SEO, but even Google uses AI for SEO. You can see that they've rolled out generative AI. And so if Google believe in the value of AI for SEO, it makes sense for everyone else to use it, right? So, so thanks so much for watching. If you want to get access to the Goldie SEO framework, 
I've laid it out for you completely free with a game plan. I've shown you three different case studies with proof that it actually works. And I've broken down the whole process into easy, actionable steps, as you can see right here. Plus, I've shown you how to make sure that you're not creating spam. There's a big difference. And the important thing here is that you're creating quality content that takes the best of AI and takes the best of humans, as you can see. So if you want to get instant access to this system right here, just go get my free SEO course. Links in the comments and description. Go to the free SEO course and then go to the Goldie SEO framework and you will find in the video notes all the details of all the sites that we've published on this. If you want to do SEO alongside me and the owner of Autoblogging, who's also in this community, feel free to join the SEO Elite Circle. Comes with a massive community of SEOs. You can DM me, as you can see right in the chats over there. It also comes with loads of frameworks based on proof. I don't show anything that's not actually working for me. And every time I show something on YouTube, I show proof that it actually works. So there's loads of cool stuff inside here, including how to grow your SEO agency, how to grow your site, and also how to do YouTube SEO as well, based on how I got three and a half million free SEO traffic. Additionally, it comes with weekly coaching calls. So if you want to mastermind with me, if you want to mastermind with the owner of Autoblogging as well, feel free to join that community. And if you want to get a free SEO strategy session where we can show you how to get more leads, traffic, and sales, and personalize everything that I've talked about today to your website, feel free to book that in links in the comments. On that call, we will give you a free link building acceleration session. That will give you a free SEO domination plan. So step by step, we'll show you how to dominate SEO for your website. You'll discover the secrets of link building and how to get more SEO traffic that way. We'll answer any questions one to one. Like you don't have to pay for a fancy SEO consultant to get your questions answered. Just book in this call and you'll learn the best link building strategies for your website, plus how to rank your competitors with link building and how to 10x your SEO traffic based on how I 229x my SEO traffic, as you can see today. Thanks so much for watching. Appreciate it. Bye-bye.